JR's Feel Good Live Sessions in association with Martel. You're trying to be a good girl, ladies, and here is not. Uh, everything's so nice. Take a shot to good big. Everything is okay. Take a shot deep big. First time I heard you, I thought you were a rapper. I thought, man, <laughs> you know, this woman is a rapper. It's alternative, but it doesn't mean it's not, you know? Yeah. Why Chrome? Well, did you decide on that? You know, or? I think we're in an age where artists don't necessarily have to confer, conform to one specific type of genre, and it's actually very hard to conform to one genre mm. and be that. So mm. I always say I can rap like I can cook, yeah. but I'm not a chef. Yeah. But I can cook. But you can cook. Yeah. yeah. So, but I can rap. But I'm not a rapper because that means that I can wake up on any on any day and yeah. and throw bars. Yeah. And that's not who I am. Yeah. Like who I am is is genuinely a poet. I can do a poem about anything, anyway, anytime. Mm. You know, if you're saying I'm a rapper, that means if I'm doing 16 bars, then it's strictly 16 bars. Yeah. Whereas if I'm saying I'm a poet, it just means that I recite, um, whether it rhymes or it doesn't rhyme, whether it's 16 bars or 19 and a half bars, mm. it can still be a poem. And that's, that's who I genuinely am. But I found a home in like the dance music space. And before, Boom, made it to the mainstream. Like Afro House was the thing. You know, my name is yeah. like Abo Like those yeah. were the songs. But even before then, I think like Osun Lade and the stuff that was brought out of Africanism yes. and whatever also was very like Afro inspired. Exactly, you know? exactly. So I didn't um, also plan to be a dance music artist. So yeah. I was like, I was a poet, and I was just like. I'm gonna be a poet and slash vocalist and sing whenever I want to sing and then do poetry whenever I want to do poetry and that's you know what I had wanted for myself but when, how I uh, came into Galawa was that they gave me a house beat yeah. and they said we'd like you to try your poetry stuff yeah. to this house beat and then I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, this got to be more funky, obviously. Yeah. And exactly. it's got to be fun, obviously, exactly. you know. And that's how my sound was was crafted, was that I just decided, oh, it's a house song. And I'd literally listen to the beat, and then I'd say, how does this beat make me feel? Yeah. And that yeah. was literally my name is, and it was like, okay, the concept is, there's a female DJ, she's taking over the space, she's arrived. So, you know, put your poetry yeah. onto that. And when I, I heard that beat, I felt like, yo, it, it's making me feel like I must dance, man. Something must happen. Yeah. And then I'm like, come to the dance floor. And yeah. I'm like, and it just works. And so I just carried on with it and I built on that. So when Gorm started coming into the mainstream, then that it made sense to me because it's like, Gorm makes me feel some type of way. Yeah. Like yeah. I love, I love, 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 love. You love music. dancing. Well. And I love dancing, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it just makes sense. I was just like, yeah, so now I'm doing this and, and it works. Tell me something, just in a short sentence. Finish this for me. Without curiosity. I would lead a very boring and broke life. You feel you're very curious? Yeah. I'm very curious. I mean, if I was a poet who was doing like socially conscious snap your fingers poems, if someone gave me a house beat and I had said to them, Ish, no, it's not my style, then where would I be? I'd be broke. I'd be hungry. Yeah. So, it, you know, <laughs> you must explore. I'm very curious. Travel the world, guys. Travel as much as you can. Yeah. Travel South Africa first, if that's yeah. all you can do. Yeah. Go to the next province, to Mpumalanga, to KZN. To... It really opens up your mind. And after that, you can never ever be yeah. closed off again because you know that there's a lot out there out there for yeah. everyone. Thanks, sister. Like, I appreciate it. That's what it's about. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> amazing, amazing stuff. Thank like, you. I had so much fun. And Thank I you had for a having crush, me. Like, honestly. Uh, like, that's it. You know, that's it. Like, man, there's no more. There's nothing left to say. No, good late. You know? Good late. Good late. It's a baby man. It's a baby dad. You know what I mean? Yes. That's it. Thanks very much, my sister. Thank appreciate you for having it, me. Thank Thanks you, guys. Through. We love, baby. baby. Yeah, so the next one I'm gonna do right now is called Bazo Yens. Uh again with DJ Mapuris, yo, because hey, I'm a hit I yo. And uh, this song has been has made literally 2018 quite a big year for me. I think I won my first summer this year, and I think it was yeah. <laughs> 
And I think it was because of this song, you know, for Best Quieto album, for my album Highly Flavored, which is out in stores and all digital platforms <laughs> right now. <laughs> so it's it's a get up and dance song, you know. It's a get. Up. It's very hard for me to have a mic that's standing still because I just want to break it down. But it's nice. It's warm. Kumna in the upper. Like it's it's a real feel good session. So let's just get right into it. Bazo get.
Good live sessions in association with Martel. <laughs>